So, Chris introduced Logan a minute ago and, and Carrie, and what you may not know about that is that for the last year and a half, with the help of awesome, awesome, awesome volunteers, I've had the responsibility and they've had the unfortunate task of dealing with their pastor as also their youth pastor. They couldn't get away from me, right? And so it's kind of bittersweet for me as, as we come. And I think about the, the strength of, of a lot of the folks in this class that, you know, they endured all of that, all the ups and downs of our student ministry, and they stayed strong. And our youth group grew, right, because of them, because of their faith, because of their help and their leadership. They were always there. They were always faithful. And we appreciate that. I was trying to figure out what to say at, at something like this because you some of you have already heard enough boring speeches, and some of you are going to get ready to hear a lot more boring speeches. And people are going to tell you that commencement means start, it means beginning, this is a new chapter, right, all that great stuff. And I was thinking about, I saw a meme because, you know, that's where I get my inspiration from. And it was like, congratulations, right, you just finished the easiest part of your life, right? And it's true, it's true. Statistics tell us that 85 to 86% of the people will, will graduate from high school, all right? That's the easiest part. Doesn't mean it was easy. That's the easiest part. You've met expectations. That's awesome. I want to encourage you with something else because statistics don't stop there. 85%, 86% do graduate. Statistics for the church kind of take a turn after graduation. It says that 70% of students who graduate and leave the church will never come back. I want you to exceed that expectation. I want you to live out your faith in all that you do. We say it all the time at Tucker Siege, right? What do we do? We exist to what? Demonstrate God's love and our actions. You do that by loving God completely, yourselves correctly, and others' compassion. Let me encourage you in the same way that Paul encouraged the church in Corinth. In 1 Corinthians 16, 13, he says, Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything with love. Class of 2019, you can be the class that breaks the mold, that breaks the cycle, that lives out their faith, God's love, and their action. Everything outside these doors is going to push against that. And Paul wouldn't have said, be strong and be courageous if there wasn't something that you had to be strong and be courageous too, right? Be aware. I think it's funny. The Bible never says, be careful. It tells us to be aware. Be aware your enemy, the devil, is sneaking around like a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. Be aware. And, and I've tried to learn that in my own parenting. And parents, I think we would do good to learn that as well. Because every time our kids go out and you go out, we're like, all right, be careful. Being careful is never going to change the world. Being aware does. Be aware of what's out there. But be aware of what's in you. Be aware of who is in you. Be on guard. Stand firm. Be courageous strong and do everything with love. Let me pray. God, we love you. And more importantly, God, I pray that today we are overwhelmed and overcome by the love that you have for us. God, I'm grateful for the graduates that are here and those who can't be with us. For the families they represent, for the love that has been poured out on them. And I pray, God, that we would see this not as the end, but the start the essential need for us as a church, as family, as friends, to be on guard with them, to stand firm in the faith with them, to be courageous with them, to be strong with them, and that everything we do may be done with love. Your love, a love that was so great that you sent your one and only son Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It's in his name that we pray. Amen.
We're going to call them up individually to recognize them. Alphabetical, just because that's how we roll, because it's school still, right? First of our youth that graduates this year is Holly Marie Diggs. Holly's not able to be with us today. She is at home. There is a disease that has taken her strength, her body, but it has never weakened her faith or her love for God. She is and remains a faithful example of God's love and of God's promise that He works through all things for the benefit of those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. Holly Marie Diggs, class of 2019. <laughs> Hannah Ryan Fisher. Marissa Barbie Garrison. Brian Wayne Hunter. A big boy. John William Kinlaw. Say it right. Alyssa Renee Lawing. Allie. Congratulations. Love you. Wyatt Lanier Olgers. It's my boy. I love it. Bailey Lynn Roberts. Bethany Faith Dugwell. Mrs. Jennifer R. Jordan. R. N. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Church, it is my pleasure and my honor to recognize and show you today Tucker Siege's class of 2019. Now, I want everybody who's a parent, grandparent, or family member to remain standing. I want everybody, before you sit too quickly, who is a friend or a partner or has some type of influence in anybody on this stage's life to stand. And if you're not standing, that's all of you right now. Listen. We stood when they were babies and they were dedicated. And we stand today to remember the promise that we made to them, to God and their families, to pray for them, to support them, and love for them. Their work isn't finished and ours isn't either. You see all these people? They're going to hold you accountable. You hold them accountable. Let's pray. Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, God, I pray your blessings on these students, on these young men and women. God, as they go out into the world, to different careers, to different schools, wherever and whenever you have called them, I pray that they would always be joyful, that they would pray continuously, that they would be thankful in all circumstances. 
for this is your will for them who live in Christ Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. You guys remain standing. You guys are free to go change out your rooms. Or you can stay in them. It's up to you.